Millbrook, New York. Home and temple of the high priest of acid, Dr. Timothy Leary, the ex-Harvard professor who claims that perhaps three million Americans have taken the acid trip. The mystic, who uses LSD to find God and may well be the first acid martyr. I asked Tim Leary if the acid experience has changed him. Well, LSD has changed me religiously. I was a uh, smart aleck, Harvard professor, bourbon drinking atheist, intellectual, before I took LSD. Now I'm God intoxicated. Has it changed me pers in my personality? I don't think so. And I want to make this clear. LSD is no instant psychoanalysis. It's not going to change your television personality. It's not going to make you a better game player. Uh, there are no guarantees here of any change in personality. I don't think I've changed. What LSD does, it gives you more energy. So I play out the Timothy Leary game on a broader canvas. I've got more uh, uh, energy available to me. I'm more turned on, so more people listen to me. But I think I still have the same old faults, the same old selfishnesses, the same old tendency to deceive myself. See, what's happening in the United States today, as millions of people, particularly young people, are taking LSD, they're just turning off they won't make war for you anymore. They're a dropout generation. They're talking about flower power. They're forming, as we have here in Millbrook, their own little religious cults. Your rock and roll bands, most of them, believe it or not, are little religious cults. And the songs they're singing are religious, oriental, mystic. to approach LSD with trembling and with fear and with love to use it for harmony and beauty. What's going on in the United States today is a revolution in consciousness facilitated by these psychedelic chemicals. I frankly don't think that the human being is ready for LSD. As a matter of fact, I don't think the human being is ready for fire. But the trouble is, LSD is here. And what are we going to do about it? Should we pass a law against fire and say only doctors can have fire? Should we pass a law against LSD and say only doctors can take this trip to the divine process, go out of their minds, use this inner microscope? Of course we can, because it's here and it's going to be used. That's the problem. That indeed is the problem. But while the doctors admit that LSD may be useful in the treatment of alcoholism, homosexuality and mental illness, they warn that they know almost nothing about it.